my name is Revan and welcome back to another video. So does anyone remember when Palpatine said this? You were destined to destroy me. Do it. Give in to your hatred. He's beaten. Let it go. It's a trick. He's stronger than you know, and he deserves to die for what he's done to me. Maybe so. But if you strike him down in anger, you'll be right back where you began. Take your Jedi weapon. Use it. I am unarmed. Strike me down with it. Give in to your anger. With each passing moment, you make yourself more my servant. I haven't come to lead the Sith. I've come to win them. As a Jedi? Yes. No. Your hatred, your anger. You want to kill me? That is what I want. Kill me, and my spirit will pass into you. As all the Sith live in me. You will be Empress. We will be one. What do every one of these scenes have in common? In every one of these scenes, it's Palpatine telling somebody that is powerful in the Force to cut him down. Why is he saying this, though? It's not as clear-cut as you think. In each of these scenes, Palpatine is goading these people to get into their hate and come to the dark side. However, while this is what he says, this isn't actually always the case, and I will explain to you why. Palpatine is always telling people who either beat him in a duel, or one significantly powerful in the Force, to strike him down. The reason for this is the Force technique, Essence Transfer. Essence Transfer is the Force ability to transfer one's consciousness to a new host body. It was a dark side ability and could be to a new host body as well as objects. The most notable example of an object is the mask of Lord Momin, an ancient Sith. In The Rise of Skywalker, we see Palpatine telling his granddaughter, Rey, to strike him down to allow him to take over her body. The reason for this is simple, to live on in a more powerful body. Essence transfer isn't a new concept. In the Old Republic video game, Essence Transfer is gone over in the Sith Inquisitor storyline, where the player's master, Lord Zash, has the player gather materials and information needed to perform the ritual to transfer her consciousness to the player's body. She obviously fails and instead transfers to the character's companion, a Dishad named Camvel. The reason Palpatine, like any Sith, wants to use Essence Transfer is to keep on living and never die. It's super simple, and the reason why so many Sith have attempted this concept. It isn't just this though. Sith want to become more powerful, and through Essence Transfer, they can go to new Force-sensitive bodies that are more powerful than themselves in the Force, thus making them more powerful. Therefore, when Starkiller defeated Palpatine in the Force Unleashed video game, he wanted Starkiller to strike him down. Anyone who was powerful enough to do this, and young enough, fit Palpatine's criteria for a new host body. The logical reason why anybody would want a young host body is to be able to keep on for a long time. The older the body, the less time they will have to be in it. This is also why, when Starkiller refused to strike him down, he immediately attacked him again. For Palpatine, this was all just a game. While in Return of the Jedi, Palpatine did tell Luke to strike him down, I feel like this wasn't just a play for Essence Transfer. Obviously, this could still be an instance where Palpatine was wanting to do Essence Transfer, but it could just be a ploy to get him to turn to the dark side. However, in Rise of Skywalker, Palpatine's goal was to transfer to Rey's body. Rey's father was a clone of Palpatine that would have been Palpatine's new body had it been Force Sensitive. However, the body was not Force Sensitive. Because Rey was able to gain back Palpatine's Force Sensitivity, Palpatine knew this was his chance. Obviously, Palpatine failed, but this was his goal. When looking back at Palpatine, it's very eerie how in control of everything he was. He dedicated every moment he had to learning this technique and other techniques, so in the eventuality that he was defeated and cut down, he could come back with Essence Transfer. It's the ultimate way of never dying and never being defeated. 
With this logic, while Rey defeated Palpatine, it would be safe to assume Palpatine's essence is still out there waiting for a new host body. Given the fact that his cloned bodies weren't ready by the time of Return of the Jedi, and he was still able to get transferred to a new host body, it's safe to assume if the rituals were done again, Palpatine could potentially return in the future. But I guess we'll see what happens. In all honesty, if they went down this path again, I would be a little bit disappointed. So hopefully they don't. Anyways, this is the reason why Palpatine tells everybody to cut him down. Palpatine is always one step ahead of everybody. But regardless, what do you think? Is this the reason why Palpatine is telling everybody to cut them down? Let me know in the comment section below. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.